Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the Angry Cast and Real Mist. It's really, really misty. No. So, <laughs> I that joke's never getting old for me, I guess. Uh, there are a few things we can still do. The game itself... Hold on one second. Need to turn the sound down a little bit. There are a few things we can still do in the game. Um, there are Easter eggs in this game. And if anybody out there remembers what the first Easter egg in a video game was... Not only will you have dated me, I'm sorry, date myself, not only will I have dated myself, but you will also date yourself by knowing uh, the answer. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the answer. I know what the answer is. I saw it when I when it first came out. I will tell you, I was a wee little, ba wee little lad. So, but uh, yeah, Easter eggs, we love Easter eggs. They're fun things in games. But one of them you can't do in Real Mist. You have to have the Masterpiece Edition, which I unfortunately don't have. That involves getting up into the crow's nest by walking up the uh, ropes, but basically inside there is just somewhat of a couple of things you can do. I think there's a picture or something. I forget what's up there, but I, like I said, I can't see it. Um, you got to use a cheat engine to, to, to fly and do other stuff that I don't have. That's the one thing. Second of all, let's go to this one. This one is, is kind of a neat little thing. Uh, again, dating myself on, on some of these these items. Uh, if we go in to here and put in the yeah, March of 1978. Nineteen seventy-eight. Doesn't matter what date or time. Shouldn't matter what date or time. And then change the month from March to November. Up! Oh, look what we did. We created another old video game, Pong. And you use the the time slider to control the left. Uh. Play left, you know, the left stick, like I'm doing right now. Oh, and that's that's stupid but fun. <laughs> Should show you that one. That's an that's an interesting one. Next of all, uh, let's uh, let's let's go in here. Let's do this one. Her her. Uh, what is it I want to do? I want to turn this. If you turn... Oh, I gotta go... I have to go turn... Well, because I took the... Hold on. Because I took the page out, the last thing we did, this is now off. We need to turn it back on. And now we can do it. Make sure that's on. Turn this to the ship. Turn this to the ship. Alright. You got it? Go inside the... Fireplace, and basically what we're going to do is build crosshair, and you'll see what I'm doing here in a second. I think that did it, or did I put too many? I might have put too many. Yeah, I put too many. Okay, sorry. Been a while. I think that's that it. Maybe not. It may not work in this particular version. Nope, it's not working. I gotta figure it out first. Huh? Yeah, not sure why that didn't work. Oh well. <laughs> maybe, maybe I need to try. We'll try one more time. Like, I'll go back to an older save, and maybe it's there. Oh, it'll work. Uh, let's see here. A little dawn on the on the island. Let's go check out another 
there's uh, there is a f Easter egg involving the the combination on here. It doesn't do anything of there, but of course, if you go out and we. Touch the... Look at that! We've got a machine gun! I don't know what we're going to do with it. We could shoot the damn tower for not working right. It doesn't do anything. Basically, there was a... Um, there was going to be a game that involved a shooter uh, using the, the island or, or, or some sort of island with mist, and it just never happened. It was a nod to that. And that 423 is a nod to, I think, an actual ship. But, uh, so there, you know, that's that. <laughs> I think we can turn the gun off if we just go back and hit the... Turn this off. There we go. Okay, good. Uh, let's see here. Another Easter egg involves going inside the clock. And uh, you can barely see it. You can barely see it. The lettering here. It says Doug. D-O-U-G. Might have been somebody who worked at Cyan at the time. Coded his uh, uh, things into that. There is a... No I think it might be here. It may or may not work. But it involves going to the stone ship page. And we shall see. Oh, no. We gotta go down into Akinar's room. Yeah, the one has the skull. I gotta go turn this on. Alright. Which one is Akinar's room? I forget. Get. <clears throat> uh, it's not this one. I can tell you right now, it's not that one. Nope. Just a second. Let's just go across the way. Aha, yes. We have this thing. Turn it to the rows. Now, if you look at these drawers, Label them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we go from the top, one, two, three, four. And that didn't work. That's not what I hit the wrong one. One, two, three, four. There we go. Open four, close four. And then open six. Son of a monkey. Let's try this again. Open four. One, two, three, four. Open four, close four. Open six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Open six. Open two. One, two. If you can close six, then close two, and then open the one on the bottom. Oh, it's not here. Hmm. Mama. Well, couldn't get that one to work. And basically what, what it was going to show you was somehow comedian and ventriloquist Jeff Dunham's photo was in there holding Alchemad the Dead Terrorist. <laughs> Go figure. But I, I, I don't know why it's not working. Can't get it to work. I This is an older save. And the uh, crosshair pattern on the back of the chimney, or the fireplace, doesn't work. And it does not uh, make anything happen with a turret. A turret's supposed to come out and shoot. That's what that's for. Um, oh, this is never something we never looked at. Up! Oh, no! Not so much an Easter egg, but something we didn't really look at. But... <laughs> All right, okay. We get it. We get it. But the inside Akinar's room on the... Uh, what is it? The Mechanical Age? You go and there is a... 
there was like a cleaver or something. Yeah, if you look at this really closely, you can't read it very well here. I don't know how else I can look at it, but it should say Dexter was here. Something lose into that particular thing. So that's that. Supposedly there is an Easter egg involving, and this is just what I'm heard. Now these, now I, I'm, I was googling some others, and supposedly there is a copy of the game, original game of Mist, inside the music box next to Akinar's throne on the Mechanical Age. However, this is not open up for me. I have beaten the game, so it's not like I, I did get the good ending. Um, but uh, it's not working there. So that's uh, that's an interesting thing. So, also there's a copy on the on the back side of the clock tower in Mist Island. Could not get behind the clock tower. Guessing on the original game or somewhere there you could do that. And again, in and I'm not going to try it because I get stuck there. And the, the ship and so, ah, we can try it. Screw it, we can try it. Supposedly in the Salentic Age, you can find a copy in uh, like fuzzy dice and stuff inside the rocket ship when you're on the Salenta gauge. But once you leave, you can't get back. So let's go check that out. But I'm not going back through. There's also one. I'm not going to go do it. You can Google it. <laughs> uh... Supposedly, but there's like a, a wrecked thing in the bottom where you can, you know, how we the the, the the different directional maze thing. Supposedly, there's a uh, crashed ma maze runner there, but I am not about to go through all that. Not worth it to me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, supposedly there's a pair of fuzzy dice somewhere. I'm not seeing it again. This could be a difference in versions between Real Mist and uh, Masterpiece Edition. I'm only working on Real Mist, so I didn't, I may not see it. But these are basically these um, Easter egg old game copy, you know, copies of, of other Cyan properties will um, allow you to change filters, give them monochromatic, strip, you know, that kind of stuff onto the game as well. One of the biggest Easter eggs everybody knows about and I'm going to see if I can make this happen, is... if you make a C pattern on the back of the uh, fireplace, that doesn't do anything, but if you do it again, Think this is how it goes? No, it doesn't. Shit. Try it again. Maybe I just do it. Do it right. Be easier. If you... It seems kind of stupid, but if I do it this way, I'm liable to actually make it happen. There we go. Ah, my friend. You brought the Big Macs and the fries. The donuts, my friend. Did you bring the donuts? The donuts. Give me the donuts. Well, the donuts. Fool! Basically, Atrus wants the donuts. <laughs> so that's... <laughs> um, there are a couple others that we you can't really get to due to the way the game is constructed, but if there's a an actual way to clip through things, 
you might be able to get to it. Uh, one is, like I said, one is the the uh, being up on the the, the, the tower, the, the crow's nest. One is, hmm, I don't know if we're going to be able to tell from it being dark almost. You could possibly see... Supposedly, there's something down on the uh, down on the the rocks there. A picture. Don't know if we'll get we could get to it without having to uh, clip. Um, also, inside the horizontal gear on the platform, which is this one, when you're flying around in the early game, you, there's possibly a screenshot somewhere out on the on the internet. But you can see something sitting on top of it that says, Don't save here! Apparently, uh, it, it's... It doesn't trigger anything or have any you know side effect, but it just says, Don't save here! I don't know why. So that's it. <laughs> that's it for the Easter eggs that I could find. Uh, so we have finished the game. This is the last one. I, I kind of feel like a letdown uh, giving you guys information, because one, not all the Easter eggs work. That I can make them work. I just thought it was funny that, you know, we could do that with the uh, <laughs> raise and lower the ship. Do that with the uh, uh, machine gun. That was kind of neat. And just basically playing Pong. So there are those Easter eggs do actually exist. And like I said, I can't get the other ones to work because I can't get around the side of the building. It's don't know why. Not worried about it, but to that effect. Those are, you know, that's the that covers that. Um, what I will say is that it's been fun to revisit a game that I played in college that was like one of the first CD-ROM games that came on an act, like a CD, like a compact disc. Before then, we had floppy disks that, that were the size of either a they're three and a half inch or five and a quarter inch, you know, in, in square to put in maybe one through disc through seven discs to get a game to go. Whoa. What's happening there? I lost. Uh, so the game crashed, of course, coming out of the uh, the library after I got out of the, the fireplace. So I just opened up the brand a brand new game. It's back to the beginning. Nothing has happened. They're there. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, it's been, f this is, this is pretty much it. I feel bad. I, I feel like I've let you down because really not much happened that could be done. I mean, we couldn't get the, you know, we couldn't get this to work. I don't know that it'll still work. Let's try it, though. I'm trying to make something happen that's not going to happen. I mean, the sh the, I don't have it pointed in the right direction to begin with, but... Yeah, it's not doing anything. But that bird flew by! Holy cow! Uh, like I said, I couldn't get behind the clock tower to, to see the game, and I, I couldn't find the other Easter eggs. So I feel I like I let you down there. You can Google them, you can find them. The, the biggest one was the donut. That was the whole, whole reason for this video, was just to show you the donut one that everybody knows about, so it's not like it's even really an Easter egg anymore. But again... It was fun to come back and try uh, try playing a game that I haven't played since college. That was uh, that was that was built, you know, 30 years ago, and used uh, C the first CD-ROMs, which you don't even get games on CD-ROM anymore. Probably, you, I mean, if you go, I don't even do, do people buy physical games for PC anymore? Or do they just download them? It seems like that's the way. I mean, it's just that's just what I'm saying about aging and and, and how tough far technology's come. Butterfly. So it was really fun to play this game. I, I depending on how well this does, which if I get a view on a video, that's that's pretty substantial <laughs> anymore, and that's not me. Uh, we may we may go back and try and, and play Rive, and this is kind of like our our flashback Friday kind of feel thing, where we played like King's Quest, the old school games that I had growing up, and while I was already an adult. I mean, God, 30 years ago. I was 19, 20 when this came out. So you figure I'm, I'm 46 now. So, yeah, 
26 years. 26 years. It's been that long. Wow. Um, but I, I highly recommend, I mean, getting the game just to have a piece of history. It, they're fairly cheap. You could probably find them in abandoned wear to play. It's not like it's going to hurt Cyan in 2021 if you bootleg a copy of Mist or Real Mist from somewhere. But I'm not recommending it. I'm just saying that that's, you know, that's a possibility. Uh, but again, if things go well with the videos, and I have time, maybe we'll try Riven. Maybe we'll do Exile. I don't know about fourth or fifth, you know, the last two games. Uh, I don't know that I have them. Or Uru. But, uh, yeah. That's all we got for tonight. I want to thank you all for uh, joining me on this trip down memory lane with uh, a game from my, my, my youth. And uh, we'll see you all next time. And Oh, whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were going to do this. Uh, uh, that's why I loaded this up. So, okay. Basically, what we know is that this is a fresh game. Here's the speed run, and we'll start the clock. We will start the clock on how long it takes me to to, uh, <laughs> to, to play the game to completion. Let's see. Uh, stopwatch. So imagine yourself, if you will, we're going to start the game and, and play it. Speed run through the game. Go. Wow, that gets... Well, <laughs> Take two. What do I got to do? I got to do the... Hold on. Okay, now I remember. So we need to turn on all of the... All of the things in order to get... The, That's it. I mean, basically, we've beaten the game already. <laughs> In two minutes and 40 seconds, because I'm old and slow, uh, that pretty much is how quickly you can beat the game without any knowledge. All you do is you go turn all the switches on, turn the one by the dock off, grab the white page, go into the library, into the fireplace, put in pattern 158, uh, which you can get off the shelf and look at. Grab the green book, go in with the white page, he skips all of his other earlier dialogue, 
uh, and you know, just says, do you have the page? Give them the page, and you're done. So within two minutes and 40 seconds, you can beat the game with little to no knowledge of anything else having to done anything else in the game. And here we are at three minutes and 30 seconds, and he is back and telling us his life story about what he did with his kids. <laughs> Which is funny. I'm just going to... Yep, there you go. So, 2 minutes, 40 seconds, beat the game. I'm sure people can do it much faster than I. But you need that white page, and that involves you having to go all over the island and flip the switches. So, there you go. So, that was fun. Uh, yeah. So, we did it all. We did Easter eggs, we did the speed run, and we're good to go, and we will see you next time. Have a good... Good one. I uh, hope you liked everything. Hey, uh, just one last thing I want to talk about. I hate, I hate to try and sell you something. I really do. I and I'm, it's not like I want to ask for money because that's just wrong. But small channels like myself do not make money off of ads in uh, in our videos. Um, so if you could be so kind, in the description, and I put it probably before this video. I'm, I, I blasted you with 8 to 10 to 15 seconds of an ad that just says, hey, support us by going to my uh, Tee Public page and buying something or clicking on the, the shirts linked in the, to Redbubble at the, at the end of my videos. And think, you know, any game I play, like Fallout or uh, Minecraft or any of those, I've got shirts that, you know, that are linked at the end to, uh, that are maybe syn you know, synonymous with the game I'm playing, especially like Fallout. And that, you know, even if it's a sticker, sticker, what, four to, four bucks for a sticker? Yeah, I only make 50 cents, quarter, 50 cents off of those, but every little bit helps. Um, I got I to gotta, I gotta pay for a house. <laughs> the, the channel's not making me any money any other, any other way, so I gotta, and I got to pay for a, a house that we re pretty much restored from the ground up uh, because it was uh, in dire need of, of help. So that would that would do the world of the angry cast a much better you know, uh, much bit of good is to support small channels like myself or others. Uh, anything you can do, you don't have to be, a, you don't have to go through Patreon. Don't waste your money on Patreon. Just buy something, buy a sticker, promote it, S grab the link from you know, uh, from my descriptions and throw it all over. You know, throw it in Facebook, throw it in wherever. Say you know, hey, this guy's doing some good work. I hope so. And uh, if we could support him, buy some stuff. You may find some stuff you like, really like. And it helps us, uh, it helps me, it helps, you know, keep things running here at the Angry Cast, so we would appreciate it. And that's all I got for you, and I wish you a good evening, and take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.